Go back to Genesis chapter 3, verse 11. Genesis chapter 3, verse 11. And he said, Who told thee that thou wast naked? Mm. Hast thou eaten of that of the tree? Mm -hmm. Whereof I commanded thee that thou should not eat? So Adam said, I was I, I, I'm scared. I was afraid because I'm naked. What you mean? Who told you you was naked? Now, now God messing with him. Who told you you was naked? We don't think God knows that he was naked. Right? So what does it mean though he was naked? Exactly. Was his private parts all out? What, what's really going on? Go to, um, so write this down. Keep your clothes on. Keep, <laughs> keep your clothes on. Go to Revelation chapter 16 and 15. Keep your clothes on. Part of being responsible. Keep your clothes on. Revelations 16 and 15. Behold, I come as a thief. Mm. Blessed is he that wa watch it. That keep, he that watch, yes, I'm sorry. And keepeth his garments. Mm. Keep his garments. So here we are being told, keep your garments. Mm -hmm. Read. Lest he walk naked. Uh-oh. You walking around the house free. You got that free spirit. You let it all hang out. Read. And they see his shame. Mm. Shame for a man to walk around and let it all hang out. Shame for a woman to walk around and let it all hang out. Okay. What you mean by this, though? Go to go to Psalms 132, verse 9. Psalms chapter 132, verse 9. Let thy priest be clothed with righteousness. Mm. Be clothed with righteousness. Read. And let thy saints shout for God. Mm -hmm. Sound for joy. joy. Shout for joy. I'm sorry for joy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go to Romans chapter 3, verse 20. So that nakedness is righteousness. That, that nakedness is unrighteousness. Right. Mm -hmm. Being clothed is righteousness. Mm -hmm. That's the going. That's the going. Romans chapter 3, verse 20. Uh huh. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. Mm. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. Right? Yes, so indeed. when we understand the laws and what we must do, guess what? Then we know how to keep our clothes on. Mm -hmm. Then we know how to keep our clothes on. Understand that law. We got to understand the law. Then we understand how to keep our clothes on. Okay. Go ahead. Absolutely. This is this is why it's so confusing in Christianity. This this right. This is one of the scriptures here too that people will go to. It says, "Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified." You can't keep the law. So read on. In His sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. If you understand sin then you're going to understand this whole book. If you understand the law, because the only way you can sin is breaking the laws. That's what sin is. That's what uh, 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 1 John chapter 3, verse 4 tells us, right? So if we understand these laws, we get these laws practiced down, you're going to understand that you are justified. You ain't got it. You are know to keep that going. You're going, you ain't going to take it off. You ain't going to walk around the house butt naked. You ain't gonna be saying, oh Lord, I hear him coming. Uh, who told you you was naked? Who told you you was naked? But once you got that going on, you're good. You cold it all the time once you get lost. It's, it's, it's no confusion in this Bible, trust me on this. Don't let nobody tell you nothing like that. There's no confusion in this word, none. Everything lines up. But if you ain't keeping the laws, having your garment on, you're not gonna have the understanding. Right.